Now, I'm going to be tying a traditional wet fly. Um, this is the Soldier Palmer. Now, I'm going to add a wing flash in it. So, basically, it's a Soldier Palmer spackler. Now, I wrote an article many years ago in Trout and Salmon. I think it was round about 1999, round about that time. And I did a selection of traditional flies, but adding the modern sort of flash to them. Now, there was three or four, it was really good. I mean, obviously there was a, this one, Soldier Palmer Spackler, Dunkel Spackler, there was a Butcher one, and then uh, the Invicta, there were, there were a couple of others, but they were the most popular, and they still are. And the Soldier Palmer Spackler is one of them, uh, and I've been again, I've been asked to tie a few, so I thought I'd show you some, or I'll show you it anyway. It's very simple, you don't need the, a lot of materials to tie the fly, you don't need to use expensive materials. Now, two sizes, the main two sizes, for the, especially for the rainbow trout, are size 10s and 12s. 14s are good as well, but 10s and 12s are obviously the most popular. Now, you just tie it as normal, but except you add a bit of flash to the wing. Thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread, and this one is obviously red, an 8 Throw a wee bit of wax on the thread to get me started. We start the thread of the eye, and we come down about two and a half mil or so. Now I'm using a red wool. This is a fluorescent red wool I got from sewing shop. And obviously the reason I know it's fluorescent is because I put a torch on it and it's fluorescent. Uh, simple as that. And uh, you can get a standard red, but try and find one that's got the fluorescent red to it. Now, normally there's, there's three strands make up the wool. For the fly this size, or even you can use, just remove one of them. This will form the tail, and I like to tie it on the way down. So just open the, or twi take the twists out, and then we just nice and tight run the thread down. I'm going to come round the bend slightly. Now the tail length is up to yourself. I've had them really short, so half of the body length would be a normal, or even the length of the body, it's just up to yourself. So have a, have a mix, but I would say around about half the body length, and then trim. And then, to fluff it out a wee bit, all I do is get a wee brush and just brush it, take the twist. But once you start to fish it, it'll actually look a lot better. But there we are, just a nice wheel tail. Now, for the, other, for the strand that's left, uh, you can actually use that for the body. Now, the rib I'm going to be using is just an oval tinsel, a gold one. It's going to catch the full length of the body. Make sure it's tied in now. I can quickly take the thread up and back down. Just to make sure that's tied in. Now there's a single strand of wool. And I'm going to use it as a dubbin. You can wind it on if you want. Or if you want a finer body, this is the best way to do it. Just use the, the wool as a dubbin. So we just start at the back and we can make it as thin or as thick as we want or we can, or as you can see there, I'm forming taper in the body. Very easy. There we are. Now for the body, I'm going to use a cock cackle. So it's just a cheap Indian cock neck. A nice brown natural red. Fibre length. Just slightly, maybe one and a half the gape, no more than that. Just going to tie this on. Put a bit of wax on the thread just to give me a bit more grip. Turn that away. Use a pair of hackle pliers here. Makes it easier for you to see. And easier to tie these small hackles in. Now I like to do a full turn at the top. Now these small hackles are I would say 90% of the time they'll come away like that, so don't worry, go straight back in. And then we work our way down. Bring the, I like to bring the rib round straight, fall up against the hackle, and then you're looking four to five turns all the way up. I'm just going to break off the, I'll take away the hackle pliers. 
this point I like to draw back the fibres then bring the ribbon or up and then cross make sure it's tied in leave a bit of wax on your thread that gives you lots of grip trim that away you can break off trim away the waste piece of the hackle now the flash I'm using this is the original flash that I used it's, uh, it's called polar flash and the number is there, you can see it, 2010, it's, it's a lovely gold pearl, it's a nice mix. found this to work extremely well. Now I take a single strand of gold and a single strand of the pearl. And then, obviously they're very long, you can fold it into enough to form the wing. Now you can, you can have it as fine as you want, or as thick as you want, just use up the, the lot and take it all. So I'm folding it again, and then I'm going to fold it on the actual fly, and then I'm going to trim it. So I'm just going to catch it in the middle, come down, fold it back, so basically it's coming over the top. And then the wing length is up to yourself, it can be the end of the tail, it can be just the end of the body, and now it's up to yourself, I've tied it up diff many different ways. Uh, I'm just going to cut it in line with the tail and then I'm just going to roll my fingers through it just to sort of open out the fibres there you go finish off with a hen hackle, the same colour as the body hackle but obviously the hen now you, you want the fibres to be slightly longer than the cock so you get a nice taper in the fly. You tie this in by the tip. So for it up. A couple of turns down now again with a wee bit of wax on the thread. I can fold the tip back. Just make a nice surface for the hackle to be wound on. Turn away or cut away the tip. Now we can use the hackle pliers just so you can see, much easier. Just draw these back, draw the fibres back, and obviously do turn in front of the other. A nice soft tackle. You can, be, you can stop it at this point, or you can put another turn or so in. The rainbow trout are like a nice fly. So basically across your thread, a couple of turns, take away your hackle pliers, I can then tidy the head up. Two or three turns and folding back the hackle. Keep the thread tight, ignore everything at this point, and then we can come in. Quick finish. Keep the thread tight, I can break away the hen hackle. You can trim it away, it's up to yourself. And there we are. So basically, it's just a soldier palmer with a bit of flash in the wing. This is the original fly. Uh, now you can, there's a, I've tied it much thicker as well as much finer and uh, that's just a nice balance so just all we have to do now is quite a varnish then all the way around now you can tie them up with the flash in and if you feel that it's just a bit too much you can always remove it but you'll find that it works extremely well so make sure the eye is clean and there we are. And that's your small soldier palmer. The wing, the flash in the wing. Or just simply call it the soldier palmer sparkler. So I hope you enjoyed it.